I read from verse 1 to 4. He said, but now, but now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not. Help me to tell your neighbor, say, fear not. Fear not. Why? For I have what? Redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through, Through the water, what happened to the water? I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be born, nor shall the flames scorch you. Why? For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, your Deliverer. Come on now. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba, in your place. Now look at first of all, that's where I'm going. Since you are precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Instead of you to die, somebody else has to die. And that fellow will be your enemy. Let me explain this thing to you. I grew up in the countryside where they call villages in Africa. I know how those people do. There is what they call the law of substitution. When somebody is terribly sick in the village and they have consulted all their food doctor and they say, ah, this one, no, we die. The family member of the one that is about to die will say, what can we do to take death away from that individual? And you know these people, they will tell them to go and sacrifice all kinds of things. And they will prepare what they call a sacrifice. And they will put it in a pot. And they will tell them to go and put it at a T-junction in the middle of the night. Why middle of the night? So that some people who are wanderers, when they are coming, maybe the drunkard, you know, the drunkard, they go to another village to drink, and when they are coming, they don't want anybody to see them. All the adulterers. Are you following? Let his son go and commit adultery in another, in another man's house. So when he's coming, he doesn't want anybody to see him in the cover of the night. So as he's coming now, when he sees the pot of sacrifice, the problem on that fellow will transfer to him. Instead of the victim of that sickness to die, the one who saw the sacrifice will carry his death. Where do you think the devil learned it from? God is watching over you. Let's read that scripture again. Verse 4. The law of substitution. The reason why you are no longer a candidate of hell is because Jesus has made a ransom. He was our ransom. He went to hell so that you will no longer go there. May you never accept Jesus Christ in vain. Amen. May you never trivialize the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ in your life. He went to hell so that you will no longer be a candidate. But if anyone say, I reject, I don't need Jesus in my life, it will be a candidate of hell. But none of us will be. He said, therefore, I give men for you and people for your war, for your life. Why that? Because you are precious to God. I pray for you. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, that shall be restoration. Yeah. 